Hi, my name is Kai One. Today, we're going to share with you guys something about the Aperture Nova P600C. I'm pretty happy because I can be the few people in the world to have early access to the Nova P600C. The production model, not the prototype. This is the production model because I went to a lighting event in Taiwan. So there are just lots of experienced gaffer, photographer, videographer, and someone wants to know more about the scene reflect lighting system from the light bridge and more about the aperture lighting fixture like me. After a few hours playing with the Aperture Nova P600C, I found out it's not just a brighter 300C and it's not a light that just add four color engine in it. There are lots of little detail that Aperture haven't told you before. So let's start from the CCT mode. In the CCT mode, we can control the green and magenta shift in 0.01 increments. Super fine control that the Aperture Nova 300C that just can control in 0.1 increments. In HSI mode, we finally can choose different color temperature to desaturate to. I really love to control the color temperature to desaturate to because you have more creative way to control your light. Maybe like a fully saturated color and desaturate to a very warm color. That's awesome. Next, we're going to talk about the special effect mode in this light. The effect mode in the Nova P300C and the Nova P600C are pretty much the same. So I just want to talk about the special effect that utilize the four color lighting engine. So the first one candle effect we can choose between warm natural and cooler yeah the candle effect utilize four color engine and it looks beautiful but actually who will have a candle this big a candle effect should be a pinpoint light source that create hard shadow so this effect should called fireplace effect no 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 because the next effect is called fire effect so the candle effect should called a no wind environment fireplace effect <laughs> because the color in the fire effect move more dramatically and aggressively the next effect called welding i don't remember is this effect in the nova 300c but I just want to share with you guys because it's cool. So this effect is a little bit like paparazzi, but it will not go back to 0%. So you can set your minimum light level and your intensity. Just look at this video and figure it out by yourself. Next effect, the cop car effect. I think the cop car is the best effect to utilize the four color engine because you can actually see the red, the blue, the white, and cast different shadow on your subject. That is pretty cool. Next, color fade. The total new color effect. You can select C1, C2, C3, and C4 and you can choose between different hue, different color temperature, or you can totally turn it off. But right now this firmware version you cannot change the saturation and you cannot change the hue you want. You just have the preset color temperature and hue or just turn it off. Mm, I hope they can just update and just like controlling 4 MC in the big panel. You can choose between um, uh, different saturation, different hue, different color temperature. That will be um, awesome. Next effect, the color cycle. The control is pretty much the same. Just the transition is different. So you can check out this video and figure it out by yourself. Next effect, the color gradient is pretty much the same. So you can check out this video and figure out by yourself too. Next effect, the one color chase. It's what it's called. Look at this video and figure out by yourself. Yep, finish the effect mode. I just hope Aperture can update the firmware to change the four color engine to choose the specific color you want, not just the preset they create. If you ask me how bright is the Aperture Nova P600C, I will tell you, I don't know because I didn't bring the meter. So I hope in the future I can have more time to play and test this after Beast. My experience, it's pretty bright and it's just like a RE S60. Just super bright light panel. <laughs> And the last special stuff will be the controller. You can unplug the cable and put it directly onto the Nova because it has some uh, electric pins on it and you can communicate your light in your control box with those pins. Just put it on the Nova and you can control the light. No cable needed. That's it. This is all I want to share about this Aperture Nova P600C. I'm pretty excited but 
I will not buy this light because I'm not a production company. <laughs> this is too expensive and too big. So I would just rent this light from the rental house and just play with it on set. So this is the end of this video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more photography or just lots of equipment stuff, check out this playlist. My name is Kai Wan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.